Hello everybody, how's everybody doing today? It's your eccentric intellectual here. I'm going to pull another saying, in a motivational, inspirational quote saying something I wrote down that inspired me years maybe ago. I'm going to pull it out of this cup unknown to me and read about it, read it and talk about it for eccentrically and intellectually. <laughs> intellectually. <laughs> here it goes. I'm going to pull it out of this cup right here. My intellectual eccentric cup unknown to me, and it is. I wouldn't kid you. And this one says, be patient. Sometimes it's the right thing to do to accept a reward for doing the right thing. I found a lady's purse one time in Subway with seven bucks in it, and I gave it, a, a true story in Florida, and I gave it back to her. I went out to a guy and said, hey, they came back in and paid for my sandwich. It was like an $8 sandwich. I found seven bucks, they gave me eight. If I could do that like 400 times a day, I'd be... <laughs> no, was, and I tried, you know, and I, listen to this though. This is what the, the story of the matter, the matter of the story. What matters is sometimes it's the right thing to do to accept a reward for doing the right thing. You always say do things and don't expect a reward. Do things because you want to. Do things because you don't want anything in return. But sometimes, intellectually speaking that is, eccentrically on top of that, um, it is the right thing to accept. Now remember, pay attention to me here. You might tell your kids, if you have any kids or if you want kids or you're, there's a kid sitting next to you, get off my peanut <laughs> If there's a kid sitting next to you, so, we were in a pool. I was like, I don't know, 12, 13, something like that. I don't know. And we were playing around in this indoor pool, right? And we we're diving around, jumping around. And this lady said, oh my gosh, I lost my diamond earring. And the husband and wife, they were all freaking out. Oh my, it was a wedding gift or something, newlyweds or something like that. As I recall, we were a little, I'm, I'm, I'm a little older than 13 now, but it was a while ago. <laughs> anyway, so we start diving around the pool and searching the bottom of us little kids, you know. And we found it. And we gave it back to them. And they said, oh, let me give you some money. Let me, let me thank you very much. Let me give you some money. And we kept, you know, being little kids and we're taught, you know, no, you don't need to accept gifts for doing something nice for somebody. You don't, you know, take money. You did something nice. Leave it at that. You should be happy you did something nice and they're happy and all that kind of stuff. So we kept saying, no, 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 thank you. No. And they started to seem to get a little agitated with us because we wouldn't take anything. And, and I noticed that on their faces. I was just a little kid, you know, not that little, 12, 13. I was kind of tall. I was uh, Let's not get into that, right? But anyways, I remember that. It's a long time ago. Things you remember as an adult when you were little because it... Uh, but anyways, to get, not to get off track, too late. Um, you don't always need to receive something in return for something you have done. But this says sometimes it's the right thing to do to accept a reward for doing something, the right doing the right thing. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's the right thing to accept the reward. Sometimes it's better to let someone feel better about themselves in giving a reward. That, that's double whammy, right? You not only gave them something they lost, but uh, you're allowing them to give you a gift back for doing it. Now you now you double whammed them with kindness. So think about that. It's, it's great to say, oh no, I don't need nothing. No thank That's okay. I, I wasn't, you know, no problem. I was glad to do it. That's fine in some cases, but sometimes it's the right thing to accept something for doing the right thing. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that in eccentrically intellectual of me? I thought so. I just read this. I didn't know what was coming out of that cup. I knew it was something brilliant. Intellectually stimulating, intellectually eccentrically, intellectually stimulating. For the... Should I pull another one? No. Well, wait till... But remember, if you too want to become an intellectual eccentric or an eccentric intellectual, get your own cup. <laughs> Start writing down your own things. I got like 4,000 of these things, index cards stacked all over this place. There's cups all over the place. If I could turn my camera, I'm not going to because it's my privacy of my own. You don't want to come. It's kind of messy. <laughs> but let's not get off track. Remember, if you too would like... Wait a minute. Oh, 